The Justice Department says it will not reconsider prosecuting former IRS official Lois Lerner. Now, Lerner and the tax agency were accused of targeting conservative groups. Joining us now is Becky uh, Gerritsen, president of the Wetumpka, Alabama Tea Party. And Becky, you once testified in front of Congress about this. You were targeted. Yes. And for those who may not remember your story, just tell me how that all came about. We applied for a 501c4 tax status right. in 2010. And we were refused that status. We were held off for over two years. And they sent, the IRS sent us a questionnaire of 80 mm. questions outside the scope of what they're allowed to ask, wanting to know our donors' names, our volunteers' names, times and places of where we're speaking, uh, resumes of our speakers, copies of every resumes. speech ever given. What? These are things that we have the freedom of speech to Address our government if we want to. We're allowed to talk about these so things. So you testified to Congress outlining all of this, Yes. let's call it what it is, harassment. Absolutely. Intimidation. And what kind of reaction did you get? I mean, obviously, nothing has happened. Well, I am stunned. The Department of Justice has decided not to pursue any uh, criminal investigation towards Lois Lerner. And the only thing I can ask myself is, have they seen the evidence that I've seen? Right. I have bins at home full of papers and copies of emails showing the IRS colluding with the Department of Justice, and maybe that's why we're not hearing anything, right. and the Federal Election Commission, along with Democratic senators and congressmen, to target Tea Party groups and conservative grassroots groups. I mean, it it's, doesn't take a genius to work out what was going on here. It was very obvious. Um, and you weren't certainly the only group. No. There were many out there yes. who received the same sort Over of Over 300 groups were targeted. Over a 27-month period, not one conservative group got a tax-exempt status. For 50 years, the IRS has been giving these exemptions, but for all of a sudden, for 27 months, no one gets one. And Lois Lerner, if I remember rightly, just pleaded the fifth, right? She refused to testify. That's right. So, given all of this, did you get a reason from the Department of Justice as to why they're not going to proceed? Not yet. Um, and I am in the works with trying to get a meeting with Attorney General Jeff Sessions. He was my senator at the time this course, was going on. Yes, so he, he yes. understood what was happening. I just, I really want to understand why they don't want to prosecute or even investigate. She actually sent emails, confidential emails, which is a felony, right. to other agencies. That alone is criminal. So I don't understand so why. So you're giving up. Oh, no. And actually, the uh, American Center for Law and Justice is representing us. We are suing the IRS, and we're in the discovery phase. Fight so, the good fight. I Becky will. Garrison, thank you. thank you so much for being here. We wish you the best of luck, and thank you. we'll have you back here to keep us updated I'll, for sure. I'll enjoy that. Uh,